Hello, I am Marcus Caballero and welcome to my channel. I uh, thought I would do something a little different today. Um, I've posted lots of videos of me on Gran Turismo Sport, uh, but I thought I would uh, do a little commentary today. Um, I'm on Project Cars 2, um, as Gran Turismo Sport has just really been annoying me lately with their update to the penalty system. Um, I don't know whether it's a reflection on my poor driving or that it's just a little bit crazy but you seem to be getting penalties that are undeserved at the minute. So I, I've come over to Project Cars 2 for a little bit of, a little bit of driving fun. Um, for me, uh, Project Cars 2 is I'd say less refined than, than Gran Turismo Sport. It doesn't look as good, it's, it's not as slick. Um, but it's a more visceral experience. Uh, you know, Gran Turismo, you, you spin out, you crash into the wall. There's, there's, there's no consequences really, uh, apart from, from time. Uh, whereas on here, if you if you hit a wall, if you make contact with a, another car, you're you're breaking something, you're bending something. Um, it has consequences, um, which which makes it more interesting. Um, so I'm I'm just having a little practice in a Sierra Cosworth around Brands Hatch. Uh, I've got a G29 steering wheel with the 6 speed shifter um, and I'm trying to teach myself some heel and toe technique. It's not going very well but then practice makes perfect I suppose. I, I don't set myself up as the fastest racer out there or, or any good particularly. I just, I just enjoy it and it's, it's fun. Um, so that that's enough of me waffling. Let let's get out on the track and see what we can do. Nope, that's not what we want to do. Drive. There we go. go, go, go. So as I say, we're in a Sierra Cosworth, round Brown's Hatch. I used to own a a Sierra Sapphire many years ago. It was a lovely car rear wheel drive I took it out in the snow one winter and ended up in a hedge but we, we won't talk about that right so car rotating around there nicely even if not intentionally Right, so just out on a warm-up lap, I suppose you'd call it. And uh, this car is is really quite a beast. Rear-wheel drive. I've got all the assists turned off, so we've got no ABS, no traction control. As I said, we're using a, a manual shifter with the clutch, which makes for some interesting driving. See how we do. Have to be ever so careful into there with no ABS, it just wants to lock up and slide straight on into the sand trap. Lock down to second. Easy, patient, patient. Now Left foot braking, aim for the apex, 
missed the apex, but hey. Now this corner always gives me trouble. Just really want to aim for a late apex, nice and straight on the exit. And our back then wants to come round. Completely missed the apex there. seconds off my fastest lap so far that's less than ideal let's see if we can do a bit better okay easy on the brakes down to fourth down to third turn in lots of action with the steering wheel brake block down to second nice and tight in patient and we're away Really? Why would you do that to me? Car just moving around all over the track. Get on the grass. It's death on there. Missed the gear there. Not ideal. Right, let's see if we can not incur a penalty this time. The back end just wants to come round and the front wants to slide on under the bridge. Oh, completely missed the gear there. It's not what we want to be doing. Oh, that's really not what we want to be doing. At least we didn't incur a penalty that time though. I kind of get the feeling that if I could just tame this slippery beast a little, it would rotate into the corners absolutely lovely. But it's, it's hard work. Alright, let's try enforce this gear. Does that work? Oh, no, that's going to have to be a third gear through there. And again, I picked up another penalty. the brake much later there but I'm just so wary of the front locking up and, uh, car rotated nicely into there 
see if we can keep this going. No, not quite the line I would like through there. Yeah, half a second up though. just really doesn't like that corner. I need to figure out what's going on there. Down to third. Lots of oversteer on the exit there. Two tenths up, so we see if we can keep this going. Oh, missed gear, not ideal. Now uh, this corner, just so hard to get right. You need to get a good exit for this straight down here. Try and turn in early, get the car rotating. Mm, oh, no, no, easy, easy. Ah. Well, it was inevitable that it was going to happen. But it's great fun. I'm sweating buckets at the minute now. Uh, I think we'll bring it back round into the pits. <laughs> Even just coming in there, it wants to come round. Take over for me, autopilot. Well. I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and if you liked it, give it a like. If not, don't. Anyway, thank you very much.